Hey guys, thanks for checking me out. This video is a makeup look if you like to do a pig or Miss Piggy costume. I searched and searched for a makeup look for my Kermit and Miss Piggy costume and all I could find online was hideous. Keep watching if you'd like to see this sexy pink pig look and also a tip on how to make a cute DIY pig costume for almost no money. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please click subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Thanks guys. Let's get right into it. First we're starting off with primer over a clean face. You want to sort of press it into your face so that it fills in your pores to give you a more smooth canvas. I'm using a MAC strobe cream as an illuminating base for my foundation. And I'm going to start with my eyes, going with, in with some Kat Von D eyeshadow primer. Remember when you're using your fingers, you want to use your ring finger because it's your weakest finger. It uses the least amount of pressure on your skin. And you just want to cover up your lid and give yourself a nice base for all the eyeshadow colors you're about to be putting on. And here I'm just deciding which color to use. I had so many pink palettes to choose from. This was one from Ulta. It's called Illuminate the Day. And over here I have a ColourPop Element of Surprise palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. It had so good for so many looks. This is also a Nomad highlighter that I had. So just find any of your favorite pink eyeshadows and blushes and see which ones are the shade that you want to use. And I'm just going in here with a Luxie angled brush. I'm going to use a very light transition shade to start off with. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker shade with my Elizabeth Mott blending brush just to highlight my crease a little and go a little bit in the corner before I start to go more vibrant. And now I'm going to grab some of this shade called Subdue. It's from the ColourPop palette. And I'm going to blend that in with the same brush into my corners. This is just a technique that I use to kind of clean up my edges. I'm just using a makeup remover wipe. This is a rounded tip buffer kind of brush. And I'm just going to blend in my pinks and go in with a bit of a lighter shade to do my highlight. Yeah, yeah. This next little trick you're going to see is a way to save money and get a dramatic effect. I found this little device on Wish, but I've been doing it for years on my own like this. You can use anything to do this, just find something kind of smooth and rigid. Make sure you wipe the edge before you switch eyes so that you don't get eyeshadow on your other side of your face. I'm going to use this Ulta Lip and Cheek Stick. It's a little bit sticky and I'm going to lay the base for my glitter and I'm just using some pink loose glitter that I had. Remember to use your ring finger. Just applying it to the lids here. Now I'm done with my eyes for the most part. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer to start doing my concealing and highlighting. If you're kind of new to doing makeup, just remember when you use a beauty blender, just get it wet and squeeze it out and just have it be very moist, never dry, because you're never going to understand what a beauty blender is for if you're using it dry. you got to get it a little damp and that's how you get that really beautiful buffed, polished finish. I always like to put a little bit of concealer on the top of my cupid's bow and on the bottom of my lip. I'm using my Stila Custom Contour brush to start to blend out my highlights. This is a very stiff brush. You want to use it kind of lightly on your skin. 
Telly, Telly, yeah, why always me? Ooh, oh, I can ballo Telly. Ooh, oh, why don't you see? Ooh, oh, trying to call you Telly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use the NYX Wonder Stick to do a really simple highlight and contour. Looking at my squad, baby acting Gucci, like I'm a rookie. Looking at me like, why do you go hard? Cause goddamn, I'm on a cruise ship. I do whatever that I want. Better understand, cause I don't know where I should start. Level out the score, cause yeah, I've been a start. You don't even know, but baby, that's just how we are. Once that's all blended together, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way full coverage foundation. And I'm going to use my Luxie buffing brush to blend this all together. Oh my god, look at all my sauce. See me going crazy like in the 80s. Looking at me like where are all my flaws? I don't know, I'm feeling lazy. Don't even care now. All up in Japan right now. I'm pushing for that moolah like a friend out. I'm using an e.l.f. translucent powder to set everything. And I'm going to be using a Luxie foundation brush to do this. Alright, I'm finished with all my powder and foundation, so I'm going to go ahead and just define my eyes. I'm going to go underneath with another dark kind of shade of pink. And I'm gonna go in with my Stila Intense Black Liquid Liner. Uh, doing liner is kind of something that takes practice. I would suggest just practice, practice, practice. Everything seems out of place this morning is an ordinary face. So we all just let it go. You say hi, and I just say hello. I'm going to be doing my brows with the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie Eyebrow Pencil. And if you know me, you know I love the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie products. They smell like chocolate. Even though this is a costume, I still like to feel comfortable in my makeup, so I just did my brows a natural way, and I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to kind of seal everything in. And I'm just going in here with every, about every shade of pink I can find. You're probably going to think I look crazy like I have a fever or something, but I was just really channeling Miss Piggy at this point. And this is this blush brush I got from Wish. It's so soft and fluffy. It's awesome for highlighters. Here's the Nomad highlighter I showed you earlier. It's a really beautiful shade of pink and it's so shimmery for that highlighter look at the very end. I'm using my fan brush to really define the bridge of my nose and I always do my cupid's bow. A lot of the products that you're seeing in this video today came from Ipsy. It's a subscription service that you get makeup every month. I'm telling you, it's the best. I love it and I get new makeup all the time. I'll leave a link in the description box. And here I'm just curling my eyelashes first before I do my, my false eyelashes. 
and there's a tutorial I will link also for you to see how to do your lashes and I'll explain it to you the way that I do it it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it I like to use a white eyeliner pencil too to make my eyes look bigger so if I really want that popping eye look then I'll go ahead and go in with some white liner and one of my favorite parts of any look is doing your little inner corners adding that little bit of highlighter pop and this is the Lancome Monster Big Mascara I love this mascara I'm using a tinier brush for the bottoms I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with a pink lip color or a red so I went ahead and tried both this pink is one that I got from Wish as well I'll link that below in the description it's a stain I actually love this once it's on your lips it stays on the whole day I usually wear gloss over it And the second color that I'm going to try is red. Whenever I'm doing red, I like to go in first with a red liner and fill in the whole entire lip as a base. And to give it a really shiny look, I wanted to use a red gloss. So I'm just using this little red gloss that I had from a gift set that I got. It's a really vibrant, shiny red. Miss Piggy-esque. And also, as I promised, here's a simple way to do a little DIY pig costume. I got this idea from a video, I'll link it right here, to Nona Chewy. It's so easy with just some felt and glue and a headband and a little glitter. I added the glitter and I got these super cute light up ears actually at Claire's and I just glued my felt onto these light up ears. But you don't need to have the light up ones, you can just do it on a regular headband. So check out her video and also she shows you how to make a little pig nose. This is such a super fun and easy costume and also it's comfortable and you can do super cute makeup with it. If you do this look, I'd love to see it. Please leave a comment below or send me a picture, DM me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at Kelly Bundy Blog. I'd love to hear from you and see your finished look. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like below and share it on social media. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.